position and look out at that skyline, you can see the damage that has been caused over the seven weeks of this war. Let's speak to Mohammed Taha from BBC Arabic. And, and Mohammed, just, just take us back, because obviously, as we said, this started on, on the 7th of October. And, and, you know, the visual impact of the fighting, the humanitarian impact of the fighting on civilians in Gaza is, is clear to see, isn't it? Yeah, it's getting unfolding uh, minute by minute, Anna. As you said uh, rightly, that some of uh, the people who are uh, uh, are from northern Gaza and move to south southern Gaza, they are trying to move back to northern yeah. Gaza. Obviously, the Israeli forces are not allowing them to do that. There are three incidents happened uh, in that regards. One incident, two uh, Palestinians killed and seven injured in the uh, outskirts of the city of Gaza because they are trying hard to get into the city. And another two incidents, one by, uh, by a Rantisi hospital where the Israeli forces, uh, they do not allow the uh, displaced people in the hospital to get out and a third hospital and the third incident nearby. However, there are some people managed to get through sideways to get to uh, northern Gaza and they, uh, they managed to see some of the destruction happened uh, in the northern Gaza because of the fighting and the shelling. They are saying that the ba we, we saw pictures uh, showing Beit Lahia, uh, destruction, massive destruction in Beit Lahia and Beit Hanun and the head of the Red Cross is saying that the um, uh, amount of destruction in Gaza is unacceptable. So, yeah, we're getting more and more to, to see uh, uh, the, 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 the scale of the humanitarian situation. There are, uh, there are bodies in the, uh, in the Indonesian hospital that, uh, in, that need to be buried. There are injured people. But uh, uh, at the same time, we, 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 we realize, we understand that some of the ambulances with some uh, critical injured people and with cancer patients cross the border, borders uh, uh, into Egypt. So there is that ease. And, and, and as, as we spoke earlier, the, the, there is a massive movement in Gaza as if the war uh, is over. And it's interesting also to, to know in your side, Anna, what's the situation uh, uh, of these truce are the Israelis are coming back uh, again to their kibbutz, what they are doing. We can see you. You removed your helmets uh, on front of the camera earlier. And, you know, there is that uh, feel of ease that's happened uh, the, the, because of this, um, uh, because of this truce. Uh, the situation also regarding the, the aid that is coming through the Rafah borders, people are uh, now anticipating uh, whether these, uh, these trucks are going to the city of Gaza and the north or not. Uh, the, the head of the, the Rafah crossing saying that uh, the 230 trucks, they are only 20 percent of the of the amount of trucks that were coming into Gaza before the war. So before the war, uh, there were a daily uh, like more than a, a thousand trucks that are coming with goods, with medicine, with with food and when, with everything that uh, ga the Gazan are, 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 um, are uh, in need uh, for. And we saw pictures uh, uh, for, uh, of children are trying to, to grab some bottle of, of, of waters, of water from some of the trucks. They are trying to get whatever they, they want uh, because, you know, they are really uh, in a desperate uh, situation. Yeah, uh, the, the, the situation in the yeah, West they, Bank, been however, strong, strong is pictures, getting... strong haven't they, is, Mohammed? They, yeah. they really have. Um, yeah, Mohammed, thank you. You're right. I mean, we, as you say, those pictures, they, they really highlight the need. And in fact,